Hello friends assalamu alaikum i am your instructor imran and today we are going to talk about the block pattern so why block whenever you have to build the big applications you need a block to manage the state to separate the logic from the ui i didn't say it as a block state management technique rather than it is good to say the block pattern why it has their own pattern to define the state management let's understand how the block works if you want to read the official documentation you can go to the block library.dev let's understand what is block so uh, let's go to the block and here there's a core concept how it works so it says that block works on the streams okay so a uh, stream you know that stream is a sequence of asynchronous data and all the block is works on the streams okay so if you want to learn about the streams and all other things seriously you can read this documentation very carefully my topic is not about what is stream okay so uh, we have to learn about the qubit first so qubit is a state management technique which is in the block but it is a lightweight state management technique firstly learn about how the qubit works so qubit is a class which extend like the block base and can be extended to manage any type of state okay so uh, if you want to read it you can read it let's create a counter app and let's understand how we can use it firstly we have to go to the pubspec.yaml and you have to use the flutter block package in your application okay. after this what i have to do i have to make one class okay so i just write here sorry i can write here the class and uh, this mm -hmm, class name as a counter qubit okay so counter qubit so i am going to make a qubit first of all which is a lightweight state management technique and we have to understand how the qubit works and then we will move towards the flutter block okay so this counter qubit should extends from the qubit okay so that's it now this qubit should come from the package that we have already imported in the pubspec.yaml from here okay and we can simply call the flutter block this library perfect now uh, it says that you have to create the constructor of it so let's create the constructor so i just call the constructor but this should not be this constructor we have to create an other constructor which call the super constructor okay so super is the keyword which calls the qubit the parent constructor and here what we have to write okay so uh, if we just click on this qubit okay so command enter or the control enter i just click on it you will see that it is the abstract class and it needs one state okay and it extends from the block base so block base is a class okay so if i just click on the block base it is coming from the streamable resources i have already told you that flutter block works on the streams if i just click on this uh, state streamable resource sources you will see that it is just coming from the state streamable so everything that we work on the block is upon the streams so here it needs one state okay so i will say that simply you will see the definition or example of it our state is for now the type is like the integer type so i can simply write here for example the integer 
okay now here uh, what will be our first or the initial state here we will just simply call the initial state uh, we can simply check here it says that uh, the state and state needs one initial state okay so our initial state of the application will be the zero if we will go there you will see that uh, there is a ui and then there is a qubit okay so we are working on a qubit for now uh, ui will uh, you will see that this qubit will emit some state okay so it will just ask some state what type of state uh, ui needs okay so maybe you will see that yeah now qubit asks from the ui what type of state you need so the state means uh, like increment state decrement state or where our application resides now all these are the states then it has also asked for the functions which functions you need to perform so all these logical things will be happen in the qubit and then this is like the data from where the data will come now we are just talking about the qubit and the ui okay so we are not need to worry about the data let's go here we simply call this state okay how can we use it now firstly uh, you will see that we have the home page and uh, you will see that this is our application a simple application ui which have one column column have some data and two button increment and decrement the same thing i have did here okay now to use the block what i have to do this package needs like if i just want to use the text if i want to use the state of this uh this qubit uh we have now the state is the zero uh, we have to wrap the text with the widget name as a blog uh, builder okay so blog builder is same like a stream builder okay so you know about the stream builder very very much uh, let's make it here the builder and builder needs like this thing okay so i'll just make it in this way uh, this builder you will see that it is a function but it is a type of widget function okay so here i can simply write the return and i can write here the text okay so what text first of all now let's make it like any text like the pp pplll whatever you will write i don't need this text now because i am going to wrap this text with the block builder now if you will see that there are some errors here and also there could be some errors there too so no need to worry about these errors first of all let's learn about the block builder so block builder is a stream builder okay so you will see that it extends from the straight stream able and here you will understand that you will learn that block builder handle builds a widget in response of the new states okay and block builder is analogous to the stream builder but has simplified api so it is looks like it is same functionality like the stream builder but it has some simple functionalities and the simple api calling or simple callings so here this block builder you will see that it needs one state okay so streamable type of states so our streamable type of state here now is the counter qubit so we can simply call here the counter qubit this one okay so it says that uh, declared with two parameter but one target uh, argument is given okay so it is just giving some error let's see that uh, yes it is good and no need to worry about anything a uh, block builder is declared with two things okay so a uh, block builder okay understand so you will see that it needs a stream and then object and then object okay so what we will write here simply we will call the counter qubit okay and the second one if you just read it uh, you will see that it needs a counter qubit like and the other one is a dynamic but we know the state and we can simply call here our state type is the integer okay still it will not work why okay so uh, to use 
द ब्लॉक बिल्डर एंड टू यूज द ब्लॉक इन आवर अप्लीकेशन वी हैव टू रैप द मटीरियल एप विद अ विजट नेम एज अ ब्लॉक प्रोवाइडर ओके ब्लॉक प्रोवाइडर इज यू विल सी दैट इट इज ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ स्टेट रिसोर्स स्ट्रीमेबल रिसोर्स एंड फंक्शन दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर क्रिएटिंग द ब्लॉक ओके और द क्यूबिट सो हेयर आई कैन राइट द क्रिएट एंड क्रिएट नीड्स काउंटर क्यूबिट ओके वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट हेयर वट टाइप ऑफ ब्लॉक प्रोवाइडर एंड वी कैन राइट हेयर काउंटर क्यूबिट इज अ टाइप ओके नाउ वी हैव टू क्लोज द अप्लीकेशन फर्स्टली एंड देन नीड टू रन इट अगेन you will see that it shows the ui how can we show this state our first state this is like the super state and for this simply we need to write here the dollar sign state let's save it and if i just show you you will see the zero and if i just make it a little bit bigger so i can write here the text style so i have just made this snippet for for me to make the things more uh, easy and more uh, fast so you will see that it just showing us a zero okay now if we want to click on this increment this should be increased okay so for this uh, here we have to create simple one function increment okay this increment should be like the state plus 1 so whatever the state so what is a state here so state is a type of uh, like the set state streamable there is the current state where we are working okay so here can we write here the state equal to state plus 1 no why because this state is a getter so we cannot assign any value to it why so how can we do it in an in another way uh if we just uh, you will see that it is a straight and maybe you will see something here the emitter or the emit type of things yeah Im emitable okay so this emitable needs of have a function which is a type of emit okay so this emit needs one uh state okay so you will see that it is coming from the block base and our Uh, this counter qubit this qubit is also have the block base so this state and the emit which will help us to set the state just like the provider we have to use the change notifier here we will simply call the emit and this emit will set the state for us okay now how to use it this block builder will only listen the states if we want to perform some operations we can simply call here the context dot off okay not the off but maybe we can write here the context dot read okay yeah this read okay so this read what it is uh let me firstly call here what type of read data we have to read i can say the counter qubit okay so now if you will see that this method is opposite of the watch so there are something the watch there are something the read uh, it will not make widget rebuild when the value change so uh, that that's it if we want to uh, watch some operations if we want to read some operations and want to perform something we can simply call the read statement okay so after this i can accessible now the increment so this one is must uh, must because this read uh, what type of data we have to read okay so we have to provide that qubit or block let's save it and now let's click on this increment so perfect you will see that it is working also if we want to perform some decrement operation so simply we can copy it paste it and here we can write decrement okay and here we can write minus 1 uh this should be paste here but now with the decrement 
okay uh, now let's go here you will see that it is working very 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 fine okay and if we want to put some logic if we want to put some conditions we can simply write here if like uh, state uh, greater than one then we will emit it let's put some increment and if i just put here the decrement this uh, is not working this is just uh, checking our condition and not going anywhere perfect i hope so you understand this qubit now should be cut it from here and we can make a new file name as a counter qubit dot dot and let's paste it and uh, we have to call the flutter block from here and also this counter qubit should be called from this library again perfect the same thing will works again i hope so you understand the basic uh, understanding or the basic things of the block pattern also understand about the counter qubit that's it for today uh, let's meet it again and uh, make some more uh, topics to understand the blocks uh, hope so you enjoyed please subscribe and press the bell icon